The Mercedes-Benz Biome is a futuristic concept car that was designed for the 2010 Los Angeles Design Challenge. The theme of the challenge was, Biomimicry and Mobility 2025, Nature's Answer to Human Challenges. The biome is a natural technology hybrid that is grown from organic materials and functions in complete symbiosis with nature. It is powered by a renewable fuel called Bionectar 4534, which is derived from plants and emits only oxygen as a byproduct. The biome is also extremely lightweight, weighing only 394 kilograms, and has a unique shape that resembles a leaf. Paragraph 1. The Design Process of the Biome the biome was created by the Mercedes-Benz Advanced Design Studios in Carlsbad, California. The designers used a novel approach that involved genetic engineering and biotechnology. They imagined that the biome would be grown from DNA-modified seeds in a laboratory, rather than built on a production line. The seeds would contain the genetic code of the Mercedes star, which would determine the shape and features of the car. The seeds would also be combined with a seed capsule that would provide the necessary nutrients and conditions for the car to grow. Paragraph 2. The Material of the Biome The material of the biome is called biofiber, which is a synthetic organic compound that is lighter than metal or plastic, yet stronger than steel. Biofiber is grown from the DNA in the Mercedes star on the front and rear of the car. The interior of the biome grows from the front star, while the exterior grows from the rear star. Biofiber can adapt to different environments and needs, such as changing color or shape. Biofiber is also completely biodegradable and can be composted at the end of its life cycle. Paragraph 3. The Power Source of the Biome The power source of the biome is Bionectar 4534 which is a renewable fuel that is derived from plants. Bionectar 4534 is stored in the biofiber of the car and can be replenished by any plant source. The car also has a symbiosis system that allows it to exchange energy and information with other vehicles and living organisms. For example, the car can share excess Bionectar 4534 with other cars or plants, or receive data from trees or animals. The only emission of Bionectar 4534 is oxygen, which contributes to a cleaner and healthier environment. Paragraph 4. The Features of the Biome The biome has several features that make it an innovative and eco-friendly concept car. For instance, it has a bionic network that connects all the systems and functions of the car, such as steering, braking, or communication. It also has an intelligent interface that responds to the driver's gestures and voice commands. The car can also communicate with other vehicles and infrastructure using radio signals and infrared light. Moreover, the car has a natural filter system that purifies water and air before releasing them into the environment. Paragraph 5. The Benefits of the Biome The biome has many benefits for both humans and nature. For humans, it offers a safe, comfortable, and efficient mode of transportation that does not harm the environment or consume scarce resources. It also provides a unique driving experience that connects the driver with nature and other living beings. For nature, it offers a way to restore balance and harmony between human activities and natural ecosystems. It also helps to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and pollution by producing oxygen and purifying water and air. Paragraph 6. The Challenges of the Biome The biome also faces some challenges that may limit its feasibility and practicality. For one thing, it requires advanced technologies that are not yet available or widely accessible, such as genetic engineering, biotechnology, and renewable fuels. It also requires strict regulations and ethical standards to ensure safety and sustainability. Furthermore, it may encounter social and cultural barriers that prevent its acceptance and adoption by consumers and governments. For example, 
Some people may be reluctant to drive a car that is grown from seeds or interacts with other living organisms. Paragraph 7. The Comparison of the Biome with Other Concept Cars The biome is not the only concept car that was designed for the 2010 Los Angeles Design Challenge. Other competitors included Honda's Air, Toyota's Nori, Mazda's Khan, Nissan's IV, GM's NV, Audi's Eora, and Smart's 454. These concept cars also aim to address the issues of mobility, sustainability, and biomimicry in different ways. For example, Honda's Air used compressed air as a power source, Toyota's Nori used seaweed as a material, Mazda's Khan used electric energy and bioelectric skin, Nissan's IV used organic synthetic materials and wireless charging, GM's NV used electric motors and autonomous driving, Audi's Eora used solar panels and wind turbines, and Smart's 454 used woven fabric and modular design. However, none of these concept cars matched the level of innovation and integration with nature that the biome achieved. Paragraph 8. The Evaluation of the Biome the biome is a remarkable concept car that demonstrates the vision and creativity of Mercedes-Benz. It is a radical departure from the conventional way of designing and manufacturing cars, and offers a new perspective on the relationship between humans and nature. It is also a potential solution to the challenges of mobility, sustainability, and biomimicry that the world faces in the 21st century. However, the biome is also a highly speculative and ambitious concept car that may not be realistic or feasible in the near future. It depends on technologies that are not yet developed or proven, and faces ethical, legal, and social obstacles that may hinder its implementation and acceptance. Paragraph 9. The Implications of the Biome The biome has significant implications for both the automotive industry and society at large. For the automotive industry, it represents a paradigm shift in how cars are conceived, produced, and used. It challenges the existing norms and practices of car design and manufacturing, and introduces new concepts and methods that are inspired by nature. It also opens up new possibilities and opportunities for innovation and collaboration among car makers, scientists, engineers, and designers. For society, it represents a new way of living and interacting with nature. It changes the role and impact of cars on the environment and human well-being, and fosters a sense of connection and responsibility among drivers, passengers, and other living beings. Conclusion The Mercedes-Benz Biome is a visionary concept car that was designed for the 2010 Los Angeles Design Challenge. It is a natural technology hybrid that is grown from organic materials and functions in complete symbiosis with nature. It is powered by a renewable fuel called Bionectar 4534, which emits only oxygen as a byproduct. It is also extremely lightweight, weighing only 394 kilograms, and has a unique shape that resembles a leaf. The biome is an innovative and eco-friendly concept car that offers many benefits for both humans and nature. However, it is also a highly speculative and ambitious concept car that requires advanced technologies that are not yet available or widely accessible, and faces ethical, legal, and social barriers that may limit its feasibility and practicality. The biome has significant implications for both the automotive industry and society at large, as it represents a paradigm shift in how cars are conceived, produced, and used. It also represents a new way of living and interacting with nature.